Here I'm going to show you how to build and demonstrate how to use a keg slash carboy washer. Here's all the components you need for the uh, washer. This is a 600 gallon per hour pond pump I got in the garden section at Home Depot. Put a piece of 3 quarter inch PVC over the outlet so that I can fit the rest of the pipes on top of the pump. This here is the lid for the bucket. I cut a six inch diameter hole in the top so carboys can sit in it. And then here's the bucket and I've cut out a notch in the side for the power cord from the pump. This is the spout where the cross section is made out of three quarter inch PVC and then there's a reducer that goes to half inch PVC. And then over here is the connector that allows you to attach your uh, kegs and wash the posts. So the benefit of the cross section near the bottom of the pump is so that the pump stays center when it's in the bucket, but also when you're washing kegs, uh, it also helps keep the keg off of the pump and helps everything to function properly. When washing carboys, I'll actually take the keg washing component out because I find that it'll raise the spout a little too high and then the reducer will get in the way of the opening of the carboys. But you can see that the washer works great for uh, six gallon carboys as well as five gallon carboys. They just sit right in the lid of the bucket. And then my process for cleaning carboys and kegs is I use warm PBW or OxyClean free in the bucket. I'll wash uh, each thing for 15 minutes and then I will just take the pump right out of the bucket and put it either in another bucket, in this case a five gallon pot with just warm water and then I'll give it a quick 10-20 second rinse and then that's all that needs to be done. There's no heavy lifting it's really simple. So thanks for watching. I will be putting a parts list in the comments below.